What's going on guys? So we just got back from the Catfish Conference in Louisville, Kentucky and it was a blast, man. We had so much fun. Got to see a lot of great people, um, a lot of familiar faces, make a lot of new friends. One of those friends in, that we got to talk to was uh, Josh from The Weekend Angler. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you should check it out. He's got some pretty good videos. So Josh and I got to talking and we were talking about Luke's video, Luke from Cats and Carp. And he had done the DIY fishing rod challenge. So we thought it'd be cool to challenge each other since we both kind of do some handy, handy work. We challenge each other to a, a build off. So we're going to each build our own version of a do it yourself rod and reel. We have to build both and just kind of for just for you know just for kicks just to see who comes up with what so I've already went and I dug through my garage and I found some stuff that I think is gonna work I did have to buy a couple of things but I think all overall most of the stuff I had laying around um, the rod itself I'm gonna build out of these tent poles the the string broke off of this a long time ago and I just had them laying around so I'm gonna utilize this as my fishing pole and I'll show you how I'm gonna put that together here in a minute the other things that I'm gonna use is this I found this in my plumbing uh, toolbox and this is a 3 8 ounce or, or I'm sorry a 3 8 uh, compression uh, valve quarter turn compression valve so this is one of the things I'm going to use some super glue I, I had bought this a while back and I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet or not I think I might this is a repair wrap you basically wet this and you can wrap it on stuff and it'll it, it seals leaks and repairs broken parts and stuff so I think I might have a use for this in this build I have some heat shrink I did buy this heat shrink this is like two bucks for a little box and just various sizes I did have some pre-cut pieces that I use for my sinkers that I still need to make that video for you guys just some this is 5 8 so just various size I need some wire so I got a coat hanger and as far as the rod itself, I think that's going to be it. Just some tools, a crescent wrench, and uh, some pliers. And a marker and a tape measure. And let's get started building. Alright, so the first thing I want to do, guys, is start putting my fishing rod together. So, uh... I'm gonna glue these with <laughs> super glue. I know probably think super glue alone is not gonna be strong enough to hold this rod together, but I think that's where the heat shrink comes in. So let me let me glue this first piece together here. I'm just gonna run a little glue on here in the end. these together give it a twist see if that'll grab in there uh, while that first little piece is drying I want to mess around with with this piece here this is the 3 8 compression fitting 3 8 compression valve and it should fit yep yeah. It fits perfectly into just like if it was a piece of pipe. I don't know that it would need super glue, but I see no reason not to put super glue. The stronger, the better, right? So I'm just going to put a little dab of super glue on here. And then I'm going to stick this 
piece in, turn it as I go, and then come with the I haven't really said why I have this on here, but I think this is gonna be the the make it or break it of this fishing rod concept. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a two part video. Part one is the rod build, and then part two will be the real build. I guess there'll be a three part video because then I'll have to test it out, right? And catch a fish on it. So this is gonna be my real seat, guys. I grabbed that tent stake just right, or the tent pole just right. This is where I'm gonna mount my homemade reel, right onto this handle right here. So we'll undo the other we'll undo the other one. We got the compression ring. Take this one. Slide the nut on there. Compression ring. Little dab of super glue. Put that in there. Twist it. Make sure it gets in there nice. Tighten that together. I'm probably the first guy to ever connect two tent poles with a three eighths shut off valve. All right, back to the back to the rest of this here. So this one seemed to grab it right. This is going to be this is going to be the main backbone of the rod. So now we're going to take this piece that we just glued and glue it to the end of the piece with the valve on it. When I'm as I'm putting these together, I want to make sure that I have the metal part down and the raw end facing to the top. So now I've got this put together. I'm going to measure the length of the handle that I want. We'll probably we'll probably do about 16 inches or so of handle. So from the handle back, I measured 16 inches and then we'll cut this off later. But this is where I want my rod to end on the on the handle side. So I'm gonna glue these three together to make the second backbone, the shorter backbone. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna glue these two together here. So now basically I've got my main rod is one, two, three, four sections. My second is one, two, three sections. And my third is two sections. So we're gonna put all these together to make the backbone and the soft tip. And hopefully that, that works as I'm thinking here. Now the problem I have is I wanna put it together with um, shrink wrap, but I don't have any big enough to slide on all four pieces so I'm gonna have to grab them all two at a time and fit them together so I have to figure that out alright so just going from the handle back I've got these two together and these two together 
and these two together these two these two that one and that so we're just going to heat shrink all this together right now real quick All right, that's the bottom half. Bottom half is pretty much done with the heat shrink anyways. Now I gotta get this going here. The main thing you wanna do before you get too crazy on the top end of the rod is you wanna make sure that the one with the valve on it is on top. And that's the one that's gonna be the main part of the deal so that's where our guides are going to go that's where everything's going to go now we're coming up to making the eye we need an eye on here first I want to make a seat so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to bend this backwards to make a seat something that's going to grab against the rod Then I'll make my eye. That's gonna go. How much do I need here? Maybe a little more. I guess about right there. I'm gonna bring this and kink it that. I'm going to bring this one to the same spot and kink it. Now I'm going to cut double the length, which will be about here. More or less. Maybe I cut it a little too long. So right now, should be all right. Show me down here. All right. So here's my idea for the for the eye. That looks like a promising guide, I guess, huh? So this is going to sit probably about here. So this will go in here, this will go in here, like this, let's pray that it works. That's got it where I want it. It's the first eye. First guide. Back on track. Let's see if it's still this All right, almost there, almost there. I think it stayed in line. Yep, looks good, guys. I don't know if you can tell from there. They seem to be lining up all right. I think we're getting a decent rod put together, guys. I don't know. The last one is the tip, guys. And I've got this cap. This cap right here that goes to the end of the... Of the tent post. I've got this cap to the <laughs> to a pen. Maybe that'll be good enough to make this happen. Yeah. 
There it is. I think that'll work. And I'm just gonna bend these down at a 90. I'm gonna cut these equal. And I just want, I'm gonna drill a couple of little holes and put those in that cap like this. And that'll be the end. So I just need two little holes in that. Just so I can feed that wire through. I'm gonna thread that in. It's gonna be my tip. Hopefully that fits on there. Before I put that on, I'll take one more piece of heat shrink. I'm gonna slide that on first. And I'm gonna take my tip and pray that it fits on there. Let me show you this rod. <laughs> we, we got it put together. So this is where we're at. This is the end. We've got about a 16 inch handle. It's four tent poles put together like a jigsaw puzzle with all that heat shrink. I wish I had one big sleeve and that would have just made it so much easier. But then it comes up to this 3 8 compression fit um, angle stop valve I guess and believe it or not this metal piece fits perfectly in there so then we go up and then the number four ends here right above the handle then we're down to three which are tied together there's the first eye made of wire got our three heat shrink and then another eyelet then number three ends here then we're down to two eyelet then number two ends here eyelet and then it's just the one piece down to the tip So this is this is what it's looking like guys so far so good I think I'm fairly happy with it I think it'll be able to hold a big fish I'm gonna wrap this handle real quick with that uh, with that repair wrap all right guys so let's do it I guess safety first huh let's get the gloves on Put on gloves, dip it in water, take it out, patch, and that's it, huh? We got two of these bad boys. All right, good enough. I'm gonna wrap it right here. Just a little worried that it might slip on me. And that's the part that's gonna make or break us. Not to mention that this will make one heck of a grip, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a pretty interesting build. It's something I've never done before. But I think we got it all put together. So I wrapped it with that uh, 
what is it called? Repair wrap. It's something I didn't have to do, but I had it there already. I had bought it a while back for a different project I was going to do. It actually gave me a really cool grip. So this is the butt end of the rod. Wrapped up to here. That's my real seat. Give me a grip, upper grip. My first eye. Second eye. Third eye. Fourth. And there's the tip. <laughs> I'm going to let this set up, let it dry, and we'll do part two, which will be the real build in the next video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.